Hi guys, welcome to Tuesday's Literacy Lesson. Now today we are going to be doing some character descriptions, but I thought first as our starter we are going to recap when we use A and when we use an. So as you can see on my screen I've got two questions. The first one says when do we use the word A? Now when we use the word A, our word that we're using it in front of has to start with a consonant. For example, we would say a monkey, or we would say a coat. So this letter here at the start of the word is a consonant. So when the word starts with a consonant, we would use a. That means, when a word starts with a vowel, for example, ant, we would use an in front of that word. So, for example, it would be an ant, or we could say an elephant. So, as you can see, these words, they start with a vowel. So, that means we are using an in front of them. OK, and just a quick recap, we should all know our vowels by now, guys, but our vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, sometimes it can act as a vowel, sometimes it can act as a consonant. But those um, five are our main vowels, OK? I would like you to have a go now, so I have a range of words here. I would like you to pause the video and see and decide if these words start with A, or these words start with an. I'm going to show you the answers on the next slide. So pause the video now. Right, let's go through the answers. So here are the answers. See which ones you got correct. Hopefully you got most of them, if not all of them correct. This is a rule guys that once we know it, we will understand it and we will continue to do it in our writing. Okay, it's quite a simple, easy rule that, that we should be able to remember as um, it's really helpful when we're doing our writing. Right, moving on to today's lesson. So as I mentioned today, we are describing a character. These are some of the things we're going to be using in today's lesson. Let's have a look through our success criteria. So we might be using some adjectives today, some verbs and adverbs, some connectives, and some figurative language. We have looked at all of these things together before, so we should have an understanding of them, guys. If perhaps you've forgotten what some of these things are, in the description box below the YouTube video, I will link in a quick recap video if you want to just recap and revise what these terms are. But I'm hoping we all remember them so we can jump straight in with today's lesson. So today you are going to be practicing your descriptive language by describing a character you really like. So here I've just got a poster with lots of different characters on. You might recognise some of them. You might not recognise some of them, that's fine. But essentially you can choose your favourite character and describe them today. So you could describe your character's appearance. For example, their hair colour, their eye colour, what they wear. You could also describe your character's personality. So what they're like on the inside. Are they kind? Are they smart? Are they bossy? You could describe your character's occupation. So what they do. And you could describe their family. So there are lots of things that you could describe about your character. I thought we can do a little example together. I can show you an example quickly using the character Elsa. Elsa is one of my favourite Disney characters. So I thought we can go through a quick example and then you can get started on your description. So I've started a character description about Elsa. Let's have a read of what I've got so far and see what we can add and see what I've also used so far. Elsa is a magical and mystical young woman who lives in Arendelle. She is next in line to the throne before her younger sister Anna. Despite her icy outbursts, 
She is strong-minded, independent and caring. Elsa enjoys spending time with Anna, Christoph, Olaf and Svet. So in my first paragraph, it's kind of like an introduction paragraph, I guess. I have included some adjectives to describe Elsa. Can you spot some of the adjectives I've used to describe her? I have used the word magical. I've used the word mystical. I have said, I have said that she's strong-minded. They said that's a personality trait, independent and caring. I've also described Elsa's outburst as icy. That would be an adjective too. So I have used a range of adjectives in my character description so far. And I've also used some coordinating conjunctions and to add some more detail to my sentences. I'm going to try and use some subordinating conjunctions in my second paragraph though. So in this paragraph, I briefly introduced Elsa, I included where she lives, I described her personality, and I stated what she enjoys doing. So what I'm going to start writing about in the next paragraph is about what she looks like, so her appearance. In this paragraph, I'm going to try and focus on using some subordinating conjunctions, so a range of connectives, and some figurative language. It might be an idea, guys, to refer back to the success criteria and kind of use this as a little checklist as you're working. So I'm going to say Elsa has long hair as white as snow. Can you think of what I've just used there? Elsa has long hair as white as snow. That would be a simile because I'm comparing the colour of Elsa's hair to snow. Elsa has long hair as white as snow and blue dazzling eyes that sparkle and shimmer in the sun. Full stop. So in my first sentence, I have used a simile by saying Elsa has long hair as white as snow. I've also used a range of adjectives here. I've said dazzling, sparkle and shimmer to describe Elsa's eyes, but also have a listen because I have used a type of figurative language too. And blue dazzling eyes that sparkle and shimmer in the sun. What would that be? The last part here, sparkle and shimmer in the sun, that would be alliteration, which was where our words begin with the same letter. So here, our words are all beginning with the word. Good. Now I'm going to talk about what she wears. I'm going to say Elsa wears a light blue dress with snowflakes on because it reminds her of magical powers she she has in this sentence i have used a subordinating conjunction my subordinating conjunction is because elsa wears a light blue dress with snowflakes on because it reminds her of the magical powers she has great so this is my character description, guys. It's just a brief one, just a quick one to practice using all of these skills we've learned so far. I thought it would be nice for you to pick your own character today, as hopefully that might motivate us to write the best character description we possibly can. Just like I have done today, I have written two paragraphs to describe my favorite character. I've described their personality, and their appearance. Like I said, some of the things you might want to talk about is what they do, their occupation, their family. There are so many things you could include in your character description. So your task today is to write your own character description about your favorite character. You can pick anyone. 
I have attached some inspiration pictures of different characters on DB Primary. So if you're struggling to think of a character that you would like to describe, have a look at the pictures I have put on there. Good luck with today's literacy lesson, guys. There won't be a video tomorrow because it's screen free Wednesday. And then on Thursday, it's book day. So the activity will be slightly different and that will be posted separately on DB Primary. So the next video will be posted on Friday. So I'll see you on Friday for another video. Take care. Bye.